Hello, hello. My name is Ashley. I want to tell you a horrible story about how my mom tried to marry me to a six-year-old man, even though I was barely 12 years old. This period in my short life became the most memorable and most disturbing. Well, I'll tell you everything right now. First, let me tell you about my family. I used to have two parents, both dad and mom. I also have a little brother, his name's Dan. The four of us lived well and we did not need anything. My dad was in business and my mom was at home with us. I went to school and my little brother was just learning how to walk. Personally, everything suited me and only in recent years I began to notice how much my mom's personality was changing. The more my dad earned, the more money she wanted to have, just to spend it. My mom's appetite grew every month and even I noticed that it was getting out of control. My dad started a small business. In the beginning, he just washed people's cars with his bucket, bought soap and took little money for it, and promoted himself on social media, came up with ideas, promotions, and then he got lucky and gradually gained more attention. Over the years, he opened a chain of car washes and we began to live even better. My mom was never particularly interested in how he was doing and if anything needed help. Well, she was busy with the house, but I... When I got older, I was looking forward to when my classes were over, so that I could run to my dad at work. I knew everything about his business, its progress, how many cars a day they serve, I came up with ideas like free coffee and sandwiches for the second wash, and a free wash for every six ones. My dad loved to take me to work, and I knew all the employees there and also helped them with ideas. I was sure that when I grow up, I will definitely continue the business. Well, maybe Dan would also join me. Now, he's still very small. My dad praised me for every good grade at school, and if I got 7 good grades in one week, he offered me a choice. Either he would give me money or buy me whatever I wanted. This is how we lived. And then… That day, I came home from school happy, because I got an A on the test, and I was sure that my dad would be so happy, because my mom did not really care. As soon as I approached the house, I saw a bunch of police cars. I felt uncomfortable and I immediately felt anxious. I ran into the house and I saw my mother crying there. Everyone was looking at me as if everyone knew something except me. I went up to her and asked what the matter was, but my mom was silent. Where is dad? I shouted. I'm asking where is my dad? And behind me came a voice unknown to me. He's gone, kid. Your dad died in a car accident two hours ago, said the policeman. These words echoed in my head, and then I passed out. We buried my father, and then a couple of days later, my mom began to organize bills, taxes, and so on. She was all on edge, and I understood why. It was definitely not because her husband died. She was now concerned with the money, or rather, the lack of income. Mom did not know anything about my dad's business, but it was half the trouble, because apparently dad left a will, but we could only open it in the presence of a lawyer, and my dad's lawyer was stuck in another country due to serious circumstances. He was not allowed to leave that country. This meant that we had to spend less and wait for the lawyer. In the meantime, all the business and property was frozen. My mom was furious and she was looking for a way out of the situation. She kept repeating all the time that my dad could have just warned her about the will and that he could have immediately given her all the rights over the business. She said a lot of things, but I was silent. I was almost 100% sure that my dad gave the rights to me, but I did not tell my mom about it so that she wouldn't get mad even more. It seemed like in our family, I was the only one mourning and that pissed me off the most. In short, more time passed and the money ended. Mom became more and more furious. She repeated the same thing over to people. Borrow me money, I'll give it back. But apparently no one agreed. To be honest, I would also refuse her because my mom did not know how to ask politely and everyone knew how crazy she was about shopping. As before, I always calculated the amount I needed for the day and saved the rest. So I managed to save up a good amount of money. So then I took out my savings and gave it to my mother so that she would worry less. In total, I had about $8,000. My mom's for the first time in a while. So one day I went to school and when I came back I was shocked. Different packages were in the corridor and my mom bought herself outfits again. I was so angry. I gave you my last money so that you could buy clothing for yourself. I gave them to you for groceries, bills and food for Dan. What have you done? I yelled at her. I got slapped in the face. 
My mom could not find any excuses and she only said that I couldn't yell at her. I said that I did not need such a mother and went to my bedroom. I don't know if it was revenge or what, but what she did afterwards almost ruined my life once and for all. When I came home from school again, I saw an old man in the living room. His name was Mr. Seven. He got up, waved his hand at me, and he and mom continued to discuss something. Then he looked in my direction for a long time and smiled. And then shook my mom's hand and left. Mom came up to me and asked about school. I knew that she did not care, she just needed to ask me for something. I firmly said to get straight to the point. This nice man, Mr. Seven, is a rich and powerful man. We have known each other for a long time and he decided to help our family in a crisis. He will give us the money just like that. But for this, he asked one small favor, she said. And what is that? I asked, chewing on a sandwich that I made myself after school. Well, you must marry him, she said without looking into my eyes. Her phrase was a shock for me. I was appalled, horrified, and generally wondered if my mom was adequate. What? What did you say? My mother continued in her cold, passive tone. You must marry him, and he will give us the money, and a lot of it, for free. He just likes you, he has been divorced for a long time, and he has grandchildren, she said, and I had to interrupt her. But they're my age. Mom immediately began to talk nonsense, like I was getting married anyway, and there was a good, wealthy man. Anger boiled in me. If dad heard this, he wouldn't let my mom even think about that. Of course, I immediately refused. But my mom was like a mosquito. She was persistent. She told me about it every single day and wanted for me to feel bad for him and then threatened me. In the end, she got to the bottom of it and began to blackmail me. She said if I don't agree, she will hand Dan and I over to the orphanage because she had no money to support us. I couldn't believe that she was capable of that. And then I agreed. My mom was delighted, called Mr. Seven and he came to pick me up. At first they were discussing something for a while and I was in my bedroom slowly collecting my stuff. I just wanted to run away and take Dan with me. Just when I went out onto the porch, our lawyer, Mr. Callaghan, came up to the house. I remembered him and was so happy. I asked who the man was and I told him everything. Mr. Callaghan was so angry. He said that he would take my mom to court, take away all her rights and make her pay for everything. The old man got scared and ran away and my mom sat down and began to cry. The the lawyer showed my dad's will, which said that all the inheritance, real estate, money, business and cars were passed to me and Dan. My mom was furious. I don't know what happened to her, but she looked like a beast. The lawyer said that he would take care of us because my mom needed medical attention. Four years have passed since then and my mom is still undergoing treatment and Dan and I have grown up. I took over my dad's business and I'm handling it well. And for the time being, Mr. Callaghan is our only legal guardian and lawyer. Well, so far so good guys. If you like this story, then give it a thumbs up and comment down below.